Bobby, I'm from Pittsburgh, PA, and I am here to support my wife, Kim, uh, doing her second full Ironman this weekend. I'm Kim, Bobby's wife. Um, here to do Ironman Florida. It's my first time doing Ironman Florida. Felt like I needed some redemption after Ironman Texas with a little bike crash. I took a long break after Texas and then reached back out to Natasha and said, I think I want to do Ironman Florida. Uh, she's overly modest about what she's accomplished and I'm, I'm very, very excited for Saturday because I think she's going to do something that's going to even surprise herself. So, proud husband. started the bike in ninth position and she's five minutes and 41 seconds back from Lauren Brandon. And someone who could win the race is two and a half minutes ahead of her. So they'll want to catch her. Yeah, so Kim Dortrich is actually pretty new to the sport. She did Ironman Texas, but she actually had a bike crash and she caught up. We'd never have guessed it when she was running because she had a smile on her face, she was moving really well, and but she was behind the time we expected. To come to find out, she'd had a major bike crash at the start of the, the bike. So coming into this race, She's improved her swim tremendously. She's improved her bike tremendously. Um, the run, we had to be really conservative because she is coming off knee surgeries and she was having some issues with her hips. So we actually didn't honestly run that much uh, the last couple weeks just to make sure she got to the start line healthy. But I expect a good race. She's just such a competitor. She's such a tremendous athlete. We expect quite a bit out of Kim on this race and in her future. on Parker, how's he doing over there? Parker's in first in his age group. So. He's going faster than everyone yeah. else in the field right now. Yeah. When Parker does that, like he gets stronger as the race goes on and everyone else is fading. So I feel like he's just gonna keep moving through. I know he wants to win like overall. Yeah, uh, I wanna win. <laughs> That's uh, plain and simple. Um, I wanna, yeah, I wanna win, wanna set a personal best. That's yeah, so I'm, my name is Parker Kurt. Um, we're in Ironman Florida right now. Uh, second full race of the year, um, feeling good, feeling excited, had a little mishap with the bike and luggage earlier this week, but uh, it's race morning, everything's fixed, body's feeling good, here, it's going to be a good day, I'm excited. Coach Parker, because he's one of my 16 coaches, does very well, his athletes love him, and he just went sub 9 at Ironman Texas, which is a big deal, he's in the 18 to 24 age group, uh, Parker outworks them all. Uh, I will give him 20 hours, Parker does 30. I then give him what he wants and I give him 30 hours, Parker does 40 hours. So I can easily say that Parker is the hardest worker that I've ever come across. He just loves to exercise and he loves to improve. He's looking to go in the 830 to 840 range and based on his training and how much he's improved, he has the capability to do so. Now, he wants to break the tape as the age group male um, and I think he's quite possible, possibly able to do so. It depends who else is going to show up, but we'll be watching Parker to see if he breaks the tape on Saturday. She's having an awesome day. I mean, swim was way better than or just as good as she expected. Super fast out of there. And then on the bike, she's kind of been alone out there, uh, riding her own race. And the front pack just did some work. And they, they're way in front, so she's going to have to put some work on the, on the marathon. But she's a runner, so... <laughs> All smiles get on the bike, so I bet she's having a great time out there, which is 
why she does it because she loves it. I mean, Kim's crushing the day. She came eighth out of the water this morning and uh, started out really strong on the bike, uh, moved up a bunch of positions um, up into fourth place currently. I think she's 18th overall female. So, I mean, outstanding day for her. I mean, I it's been hard to control the emotions today because this is what we planned for and, and she's literally doing it right now. So, um, beyond proud right now.